So, yeah, and we all know that, you know, and towards this uh, hacker ethos notion. So, we all know that Tesla is the best car, Lamborghini is the best car, whatever, Porsche 911 Turbo, whatever, RS2, RS3, whatever is the best car. And we all know that iPhone Pro is the best phone and, you know, Google Pixel probably takes the, uh, takes the best pictures, whatever. And, but in spite of all that, to have a hacker ethos, it's not, it's like, you don't want the world to just be given to you on a silver platter where you're just like, okay, we all already know that this is the best solution, just kind of do it. And so, you know, we have all these, you know, tech people or Silicon Valley folks, um, you know, you're kind of agonizing over like, oh, you know, what's, what, what color iPhone Pro should I get? Or should I get a Max or a normal size one? Or, you know, what Tesla should I buy? Should I buy a Model S or X or a Cybertruck or whatever? Or what color should I get? Or what kind of, and like, these are just kind of basic things is that like, you're essentially like stuck at McDonald's and you're like, should I get a Big Mac or should I get a Mini Mac or a chicken sandwich? And so essentially the downside of this kind of you know, and this is kind of the legacy of Steve Jobs. You know, I love Steve Jobs to death, but also, you know, Steve Jobs, he was kind of more of the artist tyrant, uh, kind of the anti-Steve Wozniak. Steve Wozniak was kind of the much more idealistic, hippie, um, you know, empower the users, stuff like that. And then Steve Jobs was like super anti that. And Steve Wozniak doesn't get as much clout or sexiness as Steve Jobs because uh, Steve Wozniak was... You know, he's essentially the brains behind Apple and the technological genius behind it. Steve Jobs is much more of the the marketing business, um, artistic creative dude. I mean, certainly you needed both of them in order to create uh, Apple and help them achieve what they did. But once again, the, the issue is, um, the the modern kids of today, and people, I just realized like, there's no more like hacker ethos. It's more like, just go out and just buy it. And that's like so boring. Like ain't nobody know how to work with their hands. Um, to most, you know, millennials or moderns, we don't know how to f work on a car, you know, uh, don't know how to fix a, a leaky roof or whatever. And so what I'm trying to promote is, yeah, let us readopt this uh, hacker ethos notion where you're not just about like, Oh, I could just buy the solution or, you know, it seems like the goal now is just to make a, a buttload of money and just hire somebody else to do it for you. Or, you know, and once again, you buy a Tesla, it just works. They're the same thing with iPhone and Apple products. They just work, which is great, which does free up some sort of more of a, um, you know, mental metabolic power to just do other things which interest you. But I don't know, I, th I think, if we as a society truly desire more innovation, more creativity, and more furthering of the human ingenuity and creativity, then I think embracing the hacker ethos is the way.